I really appreciate uh, Tony Perkins coming and introducing me himself. He is one of my, my great friends. I would have been pleased to be introduced by Gil, but it's an honor uh, to be introduced by Tony and to be here as part of the work that he and the Family Research Council do, to be at the Value Voters Summit at a time when clearly our values are being challenged. Uh, but really when that happens, that's an opportunity uh, to show America that our values are about America, our values are for America. This is, a, this is an opportunity for us. This is a time for us to be more of who we should be. This is a time for us, we've got a reason to explain why we believe in the kind of America we believe in and we need to take advantage of that. You know, you can't control everything there is in life that you'd like to control. Uh, supposedly at the turn of the 19th century, uh, the end of the 19th century, the beginning of the 20th century, uh, there was a group of British occupiers in a very lush, very quiet, very peaceful, very uneventful part of India. And this group of uh, British, uh, British soldiers who were occupying that part of India decided they'd carve a golf course uh, out of the jungle of India. And there was really not much else to do for so for over a year, this was the biggest event going on getting this golf course created. And they, they got the golf course done, and the very, almost from the day the first ball was hit on this golf course, something happened they didn't anticipate. Monkeys would come running out of the jungle, and they'd grab the golf balls. And if it was in the fairway, they might throw it in the rough. And if it was in the rough, they might throw it in the they might throw it back at you. <laughs> and I could go into great and long detail about how many things they did to try to eliminate the monkey problem, but they never got it done. So finally, for this golf course and this golf course only, they passed a rule, and the rule was you have to play the ball where the monkey throws it. <laughs> And that is the rule in Washington all the time. You know, you know the world, you know the world is turned upside down when Al Franken is in the United States Senate and Tom DeLay is going on Dancing with the Stars. That's when you know that things have changed in ways that uh, you would have never anticipated.